We're joined here by Halifax Wanderers coach Patrice Geiser. Patrice, just tell me to start us off what it's like for you guys to be back on the pitch every day, to be, you know, staring down the barrel of, of starting your second season in charge of this Wanderers club. Yeah, it's it's uh, fantastic because it was a lot of self-reflection that I had and the group had after uh, uh, a good season. Obviously, we all want to keep want to improve. Every team is taking major strides and doing the exact same. So um, you do all this planning and the more planning and more planning you do, then you're just amped up and you just can't wait to get on the field. So starting at Halifax and getting our guys together and having the new members join and bringing them up to speed has been great. You know, right now, I think our guys are just dying to just get on the field and play. Just when you look back at that year now, what kind of jumped out to you as things that you kind of remember and that you'll kind of keep with you? I think like what pops out to me, some really top performances, you know, obviously the fact that Dan and uh, Lorenzo Mass were nominated for the awards and we were able to spend um, watching the finals together and got to go was a great recognition. Um, I was honored to be recognized myself to be nominated for Coach of the Year. So all those things showed that there's true progress. How do you then come into this year and continue to push it forward? Do you have to temper expectations a little bit with how maybe quickly things came together last year? How do you continue to progress from that? Yeah, we've talked about that as a group. I think um, this season is really about us. You know, last season we went in and we try to discover who we were and we try to discover what the league was about and we try to find out about our opponents. But really this season is about us. And I think if we get it right about who we are and how we want to play, that's a really big step in the, the right direction. I mean, last year, it was largely building a new team. Yeah. This year, you've got a lot of foundations in place. Yeah. And did you kind of look at it and just look at areas to, of improvement? Because you brought in talent, I feel like in specific areas that you guys yeah. felt like you needed. Just tell me about kind of the approach to strengthening this team rather than building it last year. Step one was try to keep as many of our members coming back. You have a good season, you'd be crazy to make a lot of adjustments. Um, then after that, we talked about three areas that we identified. One of them was more experience. And as you could see, Jeremy is one, Ryan Telfer's two, amongst many others, and Christian Waleski. So we brought that. Then we wanted to identify having more goals coming from our tens. Mm -hmm. You know, so now you can see Vitor Diaz and Giorgio Probo who've come in, right? We wanted to have some areas of the field where we could be more physically dominant. And we've addressed that, you know, and a prime example of that is Julian Dunn. Really, the day that the final whistle was blown, it, it wasn't when we wanted it to end. I had a very good idea of what it is that we wanted. And it was just areas to improve. And I feel like sometimes by bringing one player, like a Jeremy, you can help four other players improve that are already on your existing team. Just lastly here, I, I want to talk a little bit about Halifax itself and, and community because I mean the last time we saw you guys on a pitch it was in that home playoff game yeah. and I think everybody saw how special yeah. that day was in the community. I think if any of those goals goes in late in the game I think the city of Halifax would have erupted let alone the stadium. I, I really felt nobody sat in the last 30 minutes and I felt the ground moving and, and um, what makes me sad is the result but what made me proud was that I think 75 percent of the stadium stayed in an extra hour and yeah. so did our players to greet them tell them how much we appreciate them, say goodbye, and see you in a few months. You know, it's really that true message of the 12th man that makes us want to push more because they're, they're with us since day one, even before us, and the legacy of this club.